hello guys welcome to civil engineering youtube channel here in this video we will talk about how to calculate the cement sand and aggregate required in a column okay uh, let us we have a dimension of the column whose length is 400 mm okay its length is how much 400 mm width is 300 mm this width is uh, 300 mm and height is what 3 meter this height is how much 3 meter okay so i have symbolized all the dimension l b and h okay so let's start uh, how will we calculate the cement sand and aggregate required for this column okay so one of the student was asking me about that sir i have a dimension of this much column how will we calculate the cement sand and aggregate so in this video i will make you learn how to calculate the ingredient required in a column okay so let us we have a uh, we have to calculate uh, cement sand and aggregate of a column which uh, grade which concrete grade is what m20 okay and m20 grade is the grade of concrete whose ratio of cement sand and aggregate is 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 okay guys so one is one part to, uh, is added uh, cement 1.5 part is added sand and three part is added aggregate so let us see uh, step by step procedures here in first step what we have to do to calculate the volume of concrete okay so how much volume of concrete uh, is required to con uh, to prepare this column okay so to calculate the volume of uh, column we have to multiply l into b into h guys we are calculating the volume of this uh, column from here to here only okay we are not taking this footing okay in next video we will uh, talk about how to calculate the uh, volume of trapezoidal footing step of footing okay and uh, also you can uh, calculate the volume of this uh, uh, this types of footing easily by the same formula l into b into h but the difficult is to calculate the volume of trapezoidal footing okay so uh, so i will tell you in next video uh, that how to calculate the volume of trapezoidal footing okay so in first step calculate the volume of concrete so uh, the uh, formula of volume is l into b into h okay so l is this length b is this width and height is this this of the column okay so here uh, the l is 400 mm 400 mm and uh, b is 300 mm and h is what 3 meter so i have converted all the 400 mm into what meter okay here you can see the un conversion unit 1000 mm equals to 1 meter so to convert uh, 400 mm into 1 meter we have to divide it by 1000 okay and again uh, we have to uh, divide 300 uh, 300 by 1000 to make it in meter and this meter 3 is already in meter so we don't have to convert in anything okay so uh, by calculating it we will get 0.4 this is uh, 0.3 and this 3 is 3 and after that uh, calculating all we will get what 0.36 cubic meter okay so guys the volume of con uh, column we got how much 0.36 cubic meter okay cubic meter and meter cube are same okay so this is weight volume guys this is always weight volume and now we have to uh, go in step 2 so what will we do in step 2 in step 2 we have to calculate dry volume of concrete to convert weight volume of concrete into dry volume we have to add 52 percent to 56 percent of extra concrete okay 56 percent of extra concrete so i have taken here 54 percent of the weight volume of concrete okay so dry volume will be equals to weight volume plus uh, 54 percent of weight volume okay here we have to uh, put here plus okay now we will get what total by calculating the total uh, dry volume will be how much 0 0.554 meter cube okay so guys we have calculated uh, the dry volume of concrete in step 2 in first step we have calculated weight volume and in second step we have to calculate what dry volume of concrete okay dry volume of concrete it means dry volume of column in next step what will we do uh, we have uh, cement sand and aggregate in a column of grade m20 whose ratio is 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 so total part becomes how much 5.5 and dry volume we have calculated how much 0 0.55 for meter cube we have this much data okay now in step 3 we have to calculate the ingredient uh, ingredient means what cement sand and 
aggregate okay now we are going to calculate how much uh, cement sand and aggregate required for uh, m20 grade of concrete and this much volume of concrete okay so uh, volume of cement will be how will we calculate volume of cement so part of cement okay so part of cement is how much one divided by total part total part is how much 5.5 and multiply it with dry volume this dry volume okay so uh, after calculating all the values we will get how much 0 0.1 meter cube in the same way volume of sand so volume of sand uh, is equals to part of sand okay so part of sand is how much 1.5 okay so i have written here 1.5 divided by total part okay and multiply it with dry volume okay so uh, again putting all the values we will get how much 0 0.151 meter cube guys this is the formula to calculate the volume of cement sand and aggregate okay now to calculate in the same way to calculate the volume of aggregate we have to add parts of aggregate so here part of aggregate is 3 so i have put here 3 and after that total part is 5.5 and multiply it with dry volume okay so by calculating all the values we will get how much 0 0.302 meter cube so guys in this way we can calculate the total volume of cement sand and aggregate okay so guys in step 4 what will we do we have to convert this cement into number of bags because uh, we can measure this uh, sand in volume we can measure this uh, aggregate in volume but cements are found in bags so now we have to convert this volume of cement into number of bags for this we have to convert volume of cement in kg and after that we have to convert kg of cement into bags okay so in step 4 given volume of cement is how much 0 0.1 meter cube which we have previously calculated and the density of cement we have to remember the density of cement is 1440 kg per meter cube okay then the weight of cement will be what is volume into density it is a formula okay so uh, volume is given how much 0 0.1 and density is given what 1440 and after calculating all the value we will get what 144 kg of cement now in step 5 we have to uh, convert the kg this kg of cement into number of bags okay for this we have given weight of cement is how much 144 kg and the weight of one bag of cement is how much 50 kg which are found in market okay so if we divide 144 with with uh, 50 then we will get what number of bags of cement so guys in this way we can calculate the cement sand and aggregate re required in a column so guys this much for today please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering thank you